Hello, my friends. D.L. Anderson here. Welcome back to Transformation by Truth podcast as we share the truth concerning these last days and what you must do to save yourself from the violent times that are just ahead. Today's podcast is a word of truth accounting of the end times. The end is coming. The end is near. Today's podcast is entitled End Times 350, Life After Your Victory Over Doubt. What it means to reign over doubt through faith. The podcast objectives are analyze what it means to keep the faith, reveal why many who have been called will never be saved, and analyze the difference between establishing rule and maintaining rule. This lesson contains timelines and other visuals. Therefore, if you are listening to the podcast, I advise you to watch the video version on our website or YouTube or request a PDF of the lesson so you can add the visual effect. Keeping the faith. Shalom, my beloved brothers and sisters, and welcome to day 99 of our exposition of lawlessness. In the most recent podcast, we analyzed how your ability to unlock the power of reliance is the key to your victory over self-reliance. In doing so, I have now shown you how faith defeats doubt at the detailed level. To it, I have shown you how hope defeats despair. I have shown you how trust defeats distrust. And I have shown you how reliance defeats self-reliance. Not only this, but I have shown you how all the constituents of doubt will be eliminated from your thought dimension, which includes your mind. And thus, the war between faith and doubt you have fought for many days will be concluded. It is over. Notwithstanding, this does not mean you will never have to deal with doubt in the future. You will. To it, you will have many battles with doubt in your future, but these should never rise to the level of war. Here is why. The war between faith and doubt is centered on freeing your mind by removing doubt and all its constituents and influences from your thought dimension. Once you have achieved this goal, your war with doubt is over for every ally, degree, and influence of doubt has been removed from your being, eliminating the internal conflict which led to war. Here lies the key, my friend, vis-a-vis -vis where there is no internal conflict with lawlessness. There can be no war, for lawlessness has no basis for launching a campaign that could escalate to the level of a war. For that reason, doubt and his cohorts will attempt to reestablish dominion within your mind by a series of relentless assails against your thought dimension. The goal being to reestablish a series of strongholds within your mind. Nevertheless, these assails should never rise to the level of a war because, again, faith is superior to doubt. And thus, doubt has no prospects of winning any battle if you are walking in the ways of hope, trust, and reliance, a way of life more commonly known as keeping the faith. Why many will never be saved. Now, I said that to ensure that you understand you are superior to doubt and you should in no wise fear him. And yet, you must also understand that doubt is an extremely 
formidable foe, and he will never give up his fight. His mission to reestablish dominion within your mind. This is the nature of lawlessness, which we see clearly by observing the satanic behavior of the agents of darkness. To wit, once these lose any war, they will call upon reinforcements to set a battle in array to reestablish the dominion they have lost. Matthew 12, 43 to 45 reads, Now, when the unclean spirit goes out of a man, he goes through dry places, seeking rest, and finds none. Then it says, I shall return to my house from which I came. And when it comes, it finds it empty, swept, and decorated. Then it goes and takes with it seven other spirits more wicked than itself, and they enter and dwell there. And the last of that man is worse than the first. So shall it also be with this wicked generation. Now, this passage speaks to a key revelation concerning our victories over the degrees of lawlessness and the vast importance of maintaining your victories, i.e. reigning with Yahushua Messiah. And this is one I would advise you to bookmark and always remember. As this is the nature of the unclean spirit, it must also be the nature of the degrees of lawlessness which are feeding this unclean spirit. Thus we conclude, the battles we fight with doubt, after eliminating this spiritual disease from our minds, will be even more fierce than the battles we fought with doubt at the first. Brothers and sisters, I admonish you to hear me carefully as I say, the primary reason why many who were called will not be chosen evolves from this reality. And as it is so crucial to your quest, I will offer it as an inflection point. This is another one I'd advise you to bookmark. There is a difference between establishing rule, i.e. mastery, and maintaining rule, i.e. reigning. Regrettably, many within the extended nation of Israel have never been taught how to reign over lawlessness not realizing that we cannot reign with Yahushua Messiah forever if we don't reign over lawlessness here and now. To make matters worse, many of these same individuals have never been taught how to establish rule over the kingdom of darkness vis-a-vis -vis the source of all lawlessness. Here's the kicker. It is impossible to reign with Yahushua Messiah if you don't even know how to establish rule over the kingdom of darkness via your mastery of all the degrees of holiness and your elimination of every degree of lawlessness. Ergo, because so many have no idea how to achieve the latter, they have no hope of succeeding the former. And this, my friends, is why the Spirit has led me to refer to our nation in this day as the dying nation of Israel. The sealing of the set apart ones is coming to an end. The great distress is just around the corner, and the majority of our people have no idea what it will take to obtain the seal of Elohim. And because of it, many of them will never be saved. Your Blueprint for Reigning Over Lawlessness Now, I understand that this is not particularly a feel-good message or a pick-me-up. And yet, those of you who have been with us long enough know that Yahuwah did not call me to speak soothing words. 
you know that I'm not investing my time creating these podcasts to tickle your ears with fantasies. I'm a watchman. My commission is to warn the nation of clear and present danger and to tell his people the truth. And thus, when I speak, it's not usually because something good is happening. It's because something bad is about to happen. Listen to me. If you want to hear a feel-good message, there are thousands of false prophets in the world. And trust me, these villains and thieves are making a fortune telling the people what they want to hear as opposed to what they need to know. You, my friend, are still with us because you are more concerned about what you need to know, as you should be. So allow me to tell you what you need to know in the form of a treasure box. The same way the doers of the word are justified before Elohim and not the hearers of the word. Those who establish rule over their enemies and yet fail to maintain said rule will never be sealed. Therefore, the upcoming podcast will be dedicated to showing you how you can reign over doubt through faith. In doing so, we will lay a foundation for your blueprint for reigning over every degree of lawlessness, for you have the power to reign over everyone. Now, here is the final word. An evil sore and quite insane for one to rule and fail to reign. My dear friends, this shouldn't be too hard to understand. Just consider this scenario from a physical perspective and ask yourself the following questions. What nation goes to war, desiring to defeat the enemy, but fails to take the steps required to reign over him? What nation obtains the victory over an invading army only to leave these invaders intact such that they can lead future invasions. None would. And this is how you must treat the kingdom of darkness and every degree of lawlessness, like an invading army that will strike again and again. Unless you tear down their strongholds and break them down forever, for this is the only way you will ever win. Now, here is today's assignment. Meditate on the word you have heard today. And as always, ask the Father to reveal the truth to you. For the children of Elohim live by conviction. And if he has not convicted you, or if you had not heard him concerning these matters, you should pray until you do. Today, I want you to think of all the battles you have had with doubt in your recent and distant past. After meditating on all these battles, I want you to ask yourself the following question. Am I reigning over doubt? Have I progressed from establishing rule to maintaining rule over this degree of lawlessness? You'll know, because if you have, you likely cannot remember the last time doubt defeated you. If you haven't, then now is the time to make it happen. If you've been following the lessons and completing the assignments, then you likely have already established rule over doubt. From now, you just need to know how to reign. And that's what the final podcast on faith and doubt will be dedicated to showing you. That is, how you can reign over doubt and take a major step in obtaining the seal of Elohim. For your ability to reign over doubt will open the door for you to establish reign over the remaining degrees of lawlessness. 
Now, here is what's next. We can play today's podcast, End Times 350, Life After Your Victory Over Doubt. And the next podcast is entitled, End Times 351, Maintaining Your Victory Over Doubt, Part 1. I will post this podcast on Wednesday, October 9th, 2024. Until then, my friends, continue to be led by the spirit of Elohim. Continue to watch, continue to pray, continue in fasting, and most of all, continue to be focused. For the end is coming. The end is near. <laughs>